Hi, my name is Eric Baim, Curator of Aviation here at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum. And today we'll be taking a look at one of the lesser known jets in our collection, the McDonald F3H-2 Demon. The Demon was designed as a carrier-based swept wing all-weather fighter equipped with cannons and air-to-air -air missiles. It was ordered in 1949, and the first flight of the prototype took place in August of 1951. It was designed and built by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation of St. Louis, Missouri. McDonnell eventually merged with Douglas Aircraft, and the company is now part of Boeing. The Demon was primarily intended to counter the Soviet Union's new swept wing fighter, the MiG-15, which the Soviet Union was supplying to North Korea at the time. The early 1950s was a period of rapid design growth and experimentation in airframes and engines, especially jet engines. Demons were first powered with a single Westinghouse J-40 jet engine and designated F3H-1. The J-40 never lived up to expectations in either power output or reliability, and the U.S. Navy deemed it totally unacceptable. In fact, some of the Dash 1 versions were never flown and went immediately to Navy mechanic ground training schools. The airplane was redesigned to accept the more powerful Allison J-71 jet engine delaying its entry into service until 1956, and thereby missing the Korean War, where active hostilities ended in 1953. The J-71 was an improvement, but like many of the jet engines of the era, its performance never lived up to expectations. Initially, the aircraft had four internally mounted 20 millimeter cannons. Two were removed to save weight when the Demon was fitted to carry AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-7 Sparrow air-to-air -air missiles. It could also carry two 262-gallon drop tanks, extending its range. Though never used in actual combat, the Demon was deployed during the Cold War years of the late 1950s and the early 1960s when a show of force was required. Pilots that flew it took great pride in the aircraft and called themselves Demon Drivers. The maintenance crews shared that pride and referred to themselves as Demon Doctors. The Demon remained in service until 1964. The Demon was a design link to its eventual replacement, McDonald's phenomenal F-4 Phantom II, which became operational in 1960. The Phantom II started as a major redesign of the Demon. It had a second engine and aerodynamic refinements that would allow it to reach speeds of 1,500 miles an hour. Though the Phantom II is a vastly superior airplane, its family resemblance to the Demon is unmistakable. The Demon had many teething problems, but it did fulfill a vital role between 1957 and 1964. It was that important stepping stone to the F-4 Phantom II, which would prove to be an amazing airplane just in time for America's next conflict, the Vietnam War. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.